What is going on, guys? This is George. Welcome back to more SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Honestly, how I feel right now after eating my breakfast. Last time we were here, we finished off downtown Bikini Bottom as much as we could. Before we go any further, let's talk to Mr. Krabs. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for that's quick? And we have our next golden spatula. I don't have enough socks yet to give Patrick, but your treasure chest. Now you have to reach forty-five hundred. Okay. So, like I said last time, we went through downtown Bikini Bottom, did everything we could there, and today we're gonna go to our next missions, which are Goo Lagoon. Let's go in. Let's get to it. Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. I gotta say, so this music is freaking awesome. I like talking a lot about this game, but presents. like this is one of the few where I'm like, this is awesome. So anyway, we are here on Google Lagoon. We have to, well, do missions here. As well as collect the you crabs. You can bubble bash this to move things. Couldn't tell. Smack that, and that happened. I gotta say, most of my favorite episodes in the series happen on Google. From when SpongeBob breaks his pants, uh, to acting like a bodyguard but can't swim, all that other fun stuff. But, what do we have here? Why are you wearing long pants at the beach, dude? <laughs> this robot is called Monsoon. Watch out for his lightning attack. Time for a little sleepy oh, yeah, sneak. Dude. This, and he's done. And over there is Larry. Well, you do look a little red. Oops, I didn't mean to press A. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. So now we have our tasks for here. We have to do this. Which causes a ray. And we need to take care of all the robot that took all the sunscreen. How much devastating can it get? Take that! Okay. Head back up here just to see the thing we need. Oh, this is, we're not gonna need this till later, but. Did you know who's gonna be here? No oh shoot. Oh! Alright, for a while you don't get hurt by the G Love, but eventually you come to get you. Oh, so you can talk about that guy's belly. Alright, so you go over for the Sheep Robot. And then I think it's. Yeah, it's this one here. Yep, that was right. Set you guys up. 
jump on the dude's belly, because that's what you do, you, you jump on his bellies. You don't get in his belly, you just on his belly. And this one here. Okay, good. As you saw there, too, we have a bus stop, so we can swap from SpongeBob to Patrick. However, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to do a few other things before we worry about that. Ooh! Almost landed in the goo. Fresh like a spring breeze. When did I lose another pick? Oh yeah, that's right. I got smacked by I feel like the a new spot. and the original robot. I can't get that one, unfortunately. We can get it later, but I can't get it right now. Uh, so let's see here. Is it this one? Makes sense. It is! Okay. Nice play. Okay. Now we want to go over here. I think it is... You get the island from the pier on the other side of the sea caves. I think it's this one. Indeed it is. So we did it all in one go, which I'm actually surprised at myself. Alright. Uh, before we go... Again, again, before we get Patrick, I want to go over here. Oh no! The children's balloons have been overfilled! They're carrying the children out of control! I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun if you ask me. Oh, you freaking Karen. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. So yeah, we gotta stop the kids from having fun. Boring, not cool, bro. Not cool. Oh yeah, yeah there's a sock up there that we're gonna need. That's under there. Nah. Oh yeah, the kid does come over here. Yeah, he does. So we have to wait till... Come on, little buddy. Come on. SpongeBob's shaking that booty. He's excited. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, don't get that excited, SpongeBob. Get another one. I know one of these, I think. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait, what? <laughs> I thought I, just, I thought I just missed the goo. Oh well. That sounds gross. <laughs> I know why they call it goo over water, but still, that sounds too gross. <laughs> Alright, so I got the one kid. And two kids. G love. Okay. Does this one make sense? I think they all the same. Alright, let's get rid of these guys first. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Okay. Now ah, that's handled. Go get them kids. Alright, there's three. I have two more kids. Oh, I know where they're at. I know where they're at. Fresh like a spring breeze. I love opening presents. Okay, so let's go over here and pick up this sock. You. Patrick needs to do laundry. Uh, it doesn't tell us how many socks are here, unfortunately. It shows in the main menu. Why? I don't know. Like a new sponge. We'll need Patrick for that, but we'll come back to it. I want to finish up this task at least. Just met the sponginator. Okay, get 
four. Alright, there's the final one. Got him. My hero! You've saved the children! <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward! Alright, and another one. So now what I want to do is go get Patrick. For something that we have to do up here. Uh oh oh Alright, smack them up, smack them up. Excuse me. Oh, and that. Man, that's a big old dog. Oh, where's, uh... Oh, there's another thing up here. Oh, it's right there. Also, if you walk through, if you hit the sun ray, you don't lose health. Uh, 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 I can't get that last one, unfortunately. But, let's get Patrick. Oh boy, oh boy! So shiny! Yeah, so basically, Patrick's Valley Flop is also being used to break the, um. Break the G Love. So I, I, I keep using my name instead. Uh, scare the clams away. They can be baby birds. No, that doesn't work. All right, so let's grab this. I'm gonna throw that. And we have to follow this whole path. Guess we gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Oh, I made it. Oh, I almost fell. Okay, come on. Easy, Patrick. Easy, Patrick. Oh, no! No, 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 no Patrick! Alright, man. Much better. All right, I knew it was gonna happen. I, I got too lucky with the um, with the sun rays. I knew this was gonna happen. All right. When I streamed this years ago, I had so much struggle playing not only the rays but also this. So it was bound to happen. Patrick, come on, Patrick. We're almost there, Patrick. Good job, Patrick. No. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Let's go, Patrick! All right, I'll have for a uh, for a sock. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I didn't know that. You get hit the umbrellas and you get shiny objects. I didn't know that. So you even learn, 
to teach an old player new tricks. I'm not an old dog, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I do have full underwear, so I don't have to worry about getting that. So what we can do with these guys is because Patrick can lift things up, he can actually pick up uh, the stone teeth. I keep going back and forth on wanting to chill at the desk and run around the house. And yes, we have another secret level. Do that. Do that here. Ouch. Oh wait, what? What? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hey! Not cool. I was nowhere near that flame. Okay. Man. But we get all the way over here, and there's another gold special. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What is that? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Go figure, we had freaking magic in the 24th one. So actually, something I wanted to mention that I didn't think about till now. Battle for Bikini Bottom was supposed to be like a copy, not a full on copy and paste, but a Spongebob copy and paste version of Mario 64. Fits quite right. Because you have to collect all of these golden spatulas, save everybody, and you have over a hundred to collect. And I gotta say, this is one of the few times where this was actually very successful. You don't really get to say that too much on... I don't really get to say that with a lot of games that are based off other successors. Wait is a whistle. And it's kind of cool that even like 20 years later they make a reboot of this game. So, what are you supposed to be? I'm a starfish. What are you? I'm a figment of SpongeBob's imagination. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I always love that little scene between Patrick and Bubble Buddy. Oh, it makes sense. So now we are at, now we got SpongeBob. Hey, Spon hey, Bubble Buddy. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes! We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top! If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town III, and Fort Patty Town III would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right! That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. All right. So, yeah, we found out where another gold spatula is. And one of my favorite, yet least favorite gimmicks of this game. The water actually rises. Or the goo actually rises. Goo, we all know what it's supposed to be. I'm not like better on it, it's just like, I'm sorry. Me and my soon to be mid 20s look at this and go, huh? That's what she said, huh? <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I thought I had enough to reach the big fat guy, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, man. As long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. Hey, SpongeBob, would you let me down? 
I love that moment in a SpongeBob episode. <laughs> it was about uh, Plankton trying to get the formula. I mean, when doesn't he? When he's like, the future, the Krusty Krab depends on you. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. As long as these pants are square and the sponge is Bob, I will not let you down! Uh, SpongeBob, you let me down. <laughs> I don't know, that was just one of my funny, one of my, one of my favorite moments in Spongebob. I have, I have a lot of favorite moments in Spongebob, I can't just pick one. Especially with how, like, how much early Spongebob I just binge watched for years. Like, not even, like, noise in the background, like, I legit just watched it for years. And there's a, oh, that's her coming back out. Oh, no, 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 big balls, big balls! Big balls! Big balls! Oh, you're gonna kill me with the big balls. Wait, they respawn. I didn't die, they respawn. Okay. I love how the first thing I said was big balls. Big balls! <laughs> Oh man. Okay, that was too funny. <laughs> I acted like the fish from Finding Nemo where he's like, Big balls! Big balls! Ready, Big balls! <laughs> so if you see from up here, that's where the spatula is. But it's technically not at the top of the castle. They lied to us! It's kind of awesome in a way that Spongebob is so popular that, for one, they're getting another season of almost 30 years of... Yeah, almost 30 years of Spongebob. In 2029, if they're still running episodes, that'd be 30 years of Spongebob. Okay, so... Then, oh, it's just too bad. Oh, you wanna go? Okay, yes. A lot of boom tikis! But also, that gives me a lot of shiny objects. And with that, we have our 25th, as I did hit my mic not that long ago, our 25th golden spatula. So if we head up here, that takes us back to where that... It takes us back to where that sock was. So this is the way you got through. There's other ways to get through it or get to it. And I did one of those things. So we are actually going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next time on SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrate, we're going to go to the Goo Lagoon Sea Caves. This is George. I'll see you guys later.